Hi everybody, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot and the title of this reading is You and Them, The Next 48. So for this reading, we're going to be looking into the energies between you and the person on your mind and the possible developments that may happen within the coming 48 hours or so. So for this reading, all you need to do is imagine this person in your mind, just picture them for a moment and then choose between set of cards number one, set of cards number two, and set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that. So right now I'm gonna set aside set of cards number two, and set of cards number three. And I'm now gonna go ahead with set of cards number one. And before I get started, I'd like to quickly mention that I will be extending this reading over on Vimeo to go beyond you know, the next 48 hours. And this would be your corresponding set of cards number one on Vimeo and it's the, if you to access that extended reading it's the first link in the description box below but right now I want to go ahead with this reading and I'd quickly like to mention if you'd ever like a highly personalized video recorded reading with me all of the details to book are in the description box below and you can book via Etsy or via PayPal I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours of booking. So again, all of the details to book are in the description box below. So right now, I wanna go ahead with this reading. So, you and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, your present together, your future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. This from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck and this from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck. Both of these decks have some wonderful channeled messages. So what, you know, what's going to happen in the next 48 with you two? Um, you know, what are you both thinking? What are you both feeling? Um, let's find out. So you and your energies in this connection. The Hanged Man them and their energies in this connection. I get a sense here that you're both waiting, okay? Um, there's, there could well be some sort of block. There's, there's something preventing you two uh, sort of being able to take this a step further. You know, the hanged man energy really does, it, it can also talk really of, you know, that anticipation, okay? Uh, it's kind of like, for you, it's a sensation that something good is is sort of going to happen because, you know, the hanged man, you know, hangs in suspension but doesn't look uncomfortable, okay? Um, so it's kind of like you intuitively know that things are developing here, that something's changing, that something is going to... It's just something's happening here, okay? Whatever way this is resonating. Uh, and they are being represented by the Seven of Pentacles. So they have a kind of similar attitude towards you, similar feeling. Um, they want the success. They, they want, it's kind of like, I feel like with the Pentacles energy, it's earthy, it's manifestation. It's kind of like, again, like want to take this to the next level. Um, they're sensing it. They kind of know it's coming. They know it's going to happen. But there's frustration with them, okay? That there's a certain, a certainly a certain amount of frustration in their energies regards this connection with you, okay? Um, let's take a look. Three of Swords in your energy towards them. The Emperor in their energies towards you. So let's take a look at this past position. Okay. So I can see here that for many of you, there has been a somewhat passionate communication. 
you know, there could even have been an, a face-to-face -face argument here. Um, and for some of you, it's certainly about letting that dust settle, okay? You both equally want this. That's what's becoming very clear now. You could both be fire signs. So Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could, you could be at a distance from each other, absolutely, with this Page of Wands energy. Um, I feel as though, like, that you, you, for some of you, they've, they've not treated you very well, okay? Yeah, that's just what's coming through here with this Three of Swords. They could be with somebody else, okay? Let's just put that out there. This could be third party very, very easily. Um, they could be an air sign, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, and yeah, I am seeing here that for some of you, uh, it's kind of like you've had to take a step back from this um, because you can see that it's not going the way that you want it to. You know it's going to eventually, but for now, it was just getting too much for you. So you've taken this big step back and you're just watching from the sidelines in this connection, okay? Because you're waiting for them to sort their head out. And what you need to know is that they do they do want to sort their head out, okay? They do. They 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 have a lot of kind of respect towards you here. Um, they want stability with you, but there is this block. Okay, whatever way this is resonating for you. Um, and what you need to know is that they have a real frustration in this connection. Absolutely. Frustration in the fact that they can't and they haven't been able to sort of come towards you. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this present position. Yeah. So the Knight of Pentacles. You could both be Earth signs, Capricorn, Capricorn Virgo, Taurus. Um you both absolutely want this. There's a reliability and a stability uh, in this connection. I, For a lot of you, like I said earlier, I am definitely sensing long distance here. And this is where the frustration is lying. I'm kind of like, I'm getting that the distance is frustrating them so much. Whether that be like physical distance, emotional distance, it's really, really frustrating them. Absolutely. Um, you both know that this is real. This is the real deal. Absolutely. With this Knight of Pentacles. And you both know that things just aren't moving in the right direction right now. Oh, it's a really frustrating reading. Um, let's take a look at the future position. Okay. So for certainly for some of you, they haven't treated you properly. They, they haven't given enough to this connection, okay? And they are realising that now. And they want to bring things back into balance, okay? With this Six of Pentacles energy. Um, absolutely. I, I do see things coming back into a certain form of balance. We've got Pentacles energies in the centre. Pentacle, pentacles energy going forwards. So it's very grounded. It's like coming, coming back down to earth and start to actually uh, really want to take this forwards, okay? So let's take a look. Oh, wow, more pentacles energy. So more manifestation, and now we've reached the 10. This is wonderful. You know, this really does speak of long-term commitment and this, this, this relationship being truly established. It's sort of like, if if you two, how can I put it, you know, if, if this hasn't been official, um, certainly going forwards beyond the next 48, I feel like it's really going to become official, okay? Because um, you two both want this, there's no doubt about this. I see the energies even shifting in the next 48 hours, as in... There's more of an understanding on their part about what they need to do to move this forwards with you. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, things are, are definitely heading towards balance and security going forwards. And I feel like the, you know, the emotions are calming down. 
okay? Um, let's take a look. Responsibility and... Yeah, so the reminder card with the responsibility. I feel as though you're letting them know that they need to take more responsibility in this connection, no matter what the scenario. Um, and I feel like you've taken the step back to make to, to give them a kind of a wake-up call to make them understand that it's a two-way street, that it needs to come that they need they need to give as much to this connection as you are giving, okay? Um, and like I say, for some of you, definitely third party, but and they are frustrated because you know they they've got like kind of a big decision to make here. Okay, I'm certainly seeing that. Let's take three cards for overall clarity, guidance, and prediction. And I feel that, you know, whatever happens, it I feel like it's 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 gonna come from them. Absolutely. Because they've realized things are very out of balance here. And they need to take more responsibility in this connection. Feel like they've really they, they have hurt you and you, you've just had to emotionally do a do a disconnect here okay yeah six of swords you you know there's kind of like a stepping back here for you Take a look. Yeah, you've certainly taken a step back. You, it's kind of like you, you were almost there, okay, for some of you. You were almost at the point where this came to realisation to, you know, you, you were almost at your ten of pentacles. You were, there was almost this full commitment, okay. For some reason, like... There's been this disconnect, and it, it's for many different reasons. I can see that quite clearly, um, but there's definitely been a, st a like a, a, a step back taken by you, and it was necessary. It was necessary. Okay, temperance energy, king of wands. Yeah, because it's up to them now. You've done so much of the work here, and it hasn't got you where it was supposed to take you two and you've been doing too much absolutely and now it's time for you to step away and that's what's going to help you reach your ten of pentacles that's what's going to manifest this um and but you're doing it in a very emotionally mature manner okay uh with this hangman energy the six of swords and the temperance energy you you are i feel like you're you certainly more emotionally mature than them, okay? Um but they're 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 gonna kinda like realise that they need to step up now with this King of Wands energy, okay? And that's what's gonna take you two to this beautiful, you know, incredible Ten of Pentacles energy come like kind of card of completion. I want to take a card for them now. Yeah. So, Queen of Swords, they're, they're kind of like... It's kind of like they're having a word with themselves, okay? Uh, yeah. They're doing some, like, real, sort of, they're really delving into their own energies here and reaching an understanding. 
they're reaching an, a, a deep understanding of you and where you are now and why why you are where you are and why there is this distance okay i'm very much getting that so i'm seeing for some of you uh things could potentially be building in the right direction in the next 48 with this knight of pentacles six of pentacles and ten of pentacles and then for others of you there's kind of like there's more time involved okay so that's what i'm seeing for you for the next 48 uh, if you'd like to join me over on Vimeo for the extended edition where I'll look deeper into the energies between you two and, um, you know, look at possible future predictions going forward well beyond the next 48, then this is your set of cards number one here and the link to join me is the first link in the description box below. So right now I'm going to go ahead with a set of cards number two. So I'm going ahead now with a set of cards number two and the title of this reading is You and Them, the next 48. So this is looking into the energies between you and this person on your mind and any possible developments between you two over the coming 48 hours or so. And just to let you know, I will be extending this reading over on... Um, Vimeo and to join me there the link is the first link in the description box below and this is your corresponding set of cards number two right now I want to go ahead with this reading um so I'd also like to mention quickly if you'd ever like a, a reading with me uh highly personalized and always video recorded then again, all of the details to book are in the description box below. And I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours. And you can book my readings via Etsy or via PayPal. So anyway, that's that out of the way. Let's get, up, get on with this. Uh, so, you and them, the next 48 hours. You and your energies in this connection. Them and their energies in this connection. Your feelings towards them their feelings towards you, your past together, your present together, your future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. This card here is from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck, and this card here is from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck. And both of these decks have some wonderful channeled messages. So let's take a look. You and your energies in this connection them and their energies in this connection so we've got swords energy okay straight away in both of your uh energy zones okay um so i feel that there's been some conflict here that that's what i'm seeing straight away i feel as though one or the other of you has bolted out of the door okay um has kind of really stepped away um because I feel there's confusion abound here. You know, you're being represented by the Seven of Swords, so that, you know, the Seven of Swords is either feeling abandoned or departing, you know, uh, very rapidly. Um, so for many of you, that could well be uh, what's, what's recently happened, or there's a fear of that, because there's, there's conflict here. There's conflict in the mind, you know, they're being represented by the Ace of Swords. So I'm just sensing that, you know, there is, oh, there's some fear-based energy here and it's leading to doubts and insecurities, okay? And yeah, so let's take a look at this past position. Yeah, so we've got the full energy. So there's, there's certainly been a departure or there's been thoughts and feelings of... Um, of fear-based energy that either one of you is gonna, um, you know, disappear, you know, there could even have been, 
like some ghosting going on here on either side, okay? So for, for many of you, there may be like no contact right now, okay? Or there's the fear that that is about to happen. That's what I'm getting here very, very strongly, okay? And that's especially from your side. You could be very concerned that this person is literally, this person on your mind is pulling away from you and may not want this connection um, and is, is, yeah, is, is maybe just about to, you know, make it clear that that's how they feel. So let, let's, there's fear-based energy on both sides, absolutely. Let's take a look at your energy towards them. The Wheel of Fortune, their energy towards you. So it is on both sides, okay? What we've got here is a very, <clears throat> for some of you, an extremely kind of profound, deep connection that's leading to this fear-based energy. Um, absolutely. For another portion of you, there is, there, there maybe has been ghosting, okay, uh, a departure. Um, but I feel like it kind of all came from the same source and that was fear, okay? So this person that you're thinking about, they are very conflicted. They, their energy towards you is the Nine of Swords. This, you know, that you can't, we can't be denying their energy towards you because it's, it's real. Like they, they are very fearful of not being with you, did they bolt out of the door because they thought you were about to do it? Because you were about to leave then, so did they leave and now they're really, oh, what have I done, you know? But there's, there's just such fear on both sides here. Um, and your energy towards them is, the, you don't want this fear, you, you want this, you sense this is a very deep connection and you are right. I think this is where all the fear is coming from because of how you both feel because it's real There's something real here okay let's take a look at this present position wow and there is the realness right there with that ten of cups that is that's the card of love you know it, can't, it cannot be denied beautiful ten of cups so this is all about Love and fear all rolled into one. Okay. Wow. You know, when people really feel this strongly about each other, sometimes, oh, does that past energy kick in? That energy from the last time your heart got broken, that energy from when you thought that the other person was all in and felt the same, except they didn't, that it all comes back into play, doesn't it? And this is what I'm sensing here and it's happening for both of you. This fear. And it's time to leave this heavy swords energy behind. I want to take a card for both of you. base our present connections on what happened in the past and it's it's all about giving this time a real shot okay and it's about not letting those past energies influence what's going on right now that's what it's about let's take a look yeah four of swords for you Oh, two of cups for them. So, I feel like, you know, that they are moving out of conflict. And, oh, it's beautiful. This is why they're feeling within this nine of swords, though, because this is how they feel about you. Two of cups. It's, it's the card of love. Absolutely. It's it's just beautiful energy 
and you are just exhausted. You're exhausted with the fear energy. And see, it's kind of like this, there needs to be like an opening up. I feel like they're not open up to you about how they truly feel, but you need to know that this is how they feel, that they there's love here, okay? You're just, oh, you just don't know what to think anymore, okay? There's kind of like, I feel like there's some commitment issues on both sides. It could have been because of, of a previous split between you two. That past energy is kind of coming back to haunt you and making you worry about if this can go forwards. But the love exists. Absolutely. There's love, fear, exhaustion. Oh, it's all going on. Let's take a look there. The Ten of Wands. It's time to lay down these wands of anxiety and fear. This is the card of exhaustion and it's on both sides. Okay. Let's take a look. Four of Pentacles. So in the next 48, uh, all of these feelings and deep, intense feelings, they're all happening. There's, but I don't see communication because this all needs to be processed, okay? There's no, there could be communication, but there's no opening up of how you're both truly feeling, okay? But you need to know that all of these energies and feelings, they're all real. There's love here. Let's take a look. Choices and secret. You're both keeping how you truly feel under wraps here. And it's time to make this choice. Whatever your scenario, doesn't matter. You two, going forwards beyond this next 48, you're going to make the choice. There's going to be a choice made. Let's take three cards. So you could both be air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, very strongly. You could both be water signs, uh, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, any combination. We've also got fire energy and earth energy here. here. So, you know, uh, you know, Leo, Aries, Sag, and any of the earth signs. It's all going on. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. If there's been a split, there's a brand new beginning. A good, uh, a good positive decision. You know, the magician is the card of taking action in a very positive direction. You two could be at a far. You know, you, you, you could be just literally be admiring each other from a distance in the workplace uh, in the local shop you know um, from afar and you're not taking it that step further but there's soulmate energy here with that ten of cups right in the centre Take a look. Choices, choices, decisions are going to be made in this connection. Oh, I love it. The secret's out. You, you or them could be in a relationship with somebody else, but the secret's out. The choice is being made. Absolutely. There we go. Judgment energy. I love it. Uh, I'm seeing that... Everything's being held in really quite tightly in the next 48, but going beyond the next 48, it's action stations. Something's really kicking off here and really developing. A decision is going to be made. There's a there's like you two are going to come together. Um, it can't, it just it can't be prevented. It it just can't be. Quite incredible energies here. 
So there we go. That was a really exciting reading. I really enjoyed that. Um, uh, I love it when the, the messages come through uh, the way they did for this reading. So now I'm going to move on to set of cards number three. But just a quick reminder, if you'd like to join me for the extended to go beyond the next 48, then this is your set of cards number two. And it's the first link in the description box below. So right now I'm going to go ahead with set of cards number three. So, going ahead now with a set of cards and number three. The title of this reading is You and Them, the next 48 hours or so. So, just as I place the cards down, I'd quickly like to mention I will be extending this reading over on Vimeo. So, if you chose this set of cards number three here, this is your set of cards number three over on Vimeo to look beyond the next 48 and it's the first link in the description box below. And I'd also like to mention if you'd ever like a highly personalised video recorded reading with me, all of the details to book via Etsy or PayPal are in the description box below and I also offer a reading with a turnaround time of within 24 hours and again all in the description box. So right now, let's go ahead with this reading. I just had a very exciting set of cards number two. So let's see what let's see what's going to happen with uh, set of cards number three here. Uh, so you and them, the energies between you two and the possible developments within the next forty eight hours or so. So you and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you your past together, your present together, your future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense, but to be interpreted. And here are our clarifying cards. This card here is from the Wisdom of the House of Night deck, and this card here is from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck. They both have some beautiful channeled messages, these decks. Okay, so <clears throat> let's take a look. You and them, the next 48. So, you and your energies in this connection. Eight of Wands. So, desperately wanting good news, a message, okay? Um, this is passionate energy, absolutely. This is where you are. Them, oh, and you may well get it, okay? We've got the Knight of Wands here. Uh, very passionate. The Knight of Wands is an extremely passionate knight very uh, lusty, okay, this is sexually charged energy we've got coming towards you here, um, so you're both in anticipation, let's put it that way, you could both be fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sag, but you don't need to be, uh, but there's extremely passionate energy between you two that absolutely cannot be denied here, you need to know that, absolutely, I want to take a look at this past position, so, there could have been, okay, uh, some emotional confusion about where this, you know, where this uh, connection is going to be, going to go. Uh, there could even be other people in the mix, okay, um, but that's in the past, okay. Right now, we've got very passionate energy between you two, okay, really passionate. Um, you know, the... the there could even have been, there could have been a split here, um, yeah, there could have been, you know, the Seven of Cups, the person on this card is in kind of like a dark place, you, one or both of you could be trying to heal past wounds from something else as well here, and it's causing um, difficulties in being able to really take the plunge. Okay, so that energy just came through also. Let's take a look. Your feelings towards them, three of wands. Okay, beautiful, expansive, more wands energy. Really wanting this to take flight. Okay, you two could be at a distance from each other. Okay, 
you two could be really looking forward to seeing each other right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and you've been missing each other. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, beautiful. The Ace of Cups. <gasps> There's love and passion here. Oh, my goodness. You two can't wait. You just can't wait to be together. They, this, they love you. Okay, that's it. Their energy towards you, the Ace of Cups. It's beautiful. This can even be about proposals and marriage, okay? There's, there's something spectacular in this connection, I have to say. There is. Doesn't matter the scenario. These are the energies. It's very, extremely frantic, loving, passionate energy between you two. Totally. They want to give you everything. Okay, they do, they do. Let's take a look at this present position. The Queen of Wands, the future position, the Hermit energy, the outcome, the firm offer. I love this, okay? So there could be, like I said earlier, there's distance, there's other people in the mix, there's old wounds, there's something, there's something, okay? But what you need to know is that there is a beautiful passion and wanton desire from both both of you in this connection. Absolutely. Um, I'm seeing that there's cups energy here, earth energy, so one or the other of you could be Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. Um, you could be very much a fire sign. Um, they could be a Virgo. Um, what I'm getting here is the confidence that you both have. Okay? You're very confident in this connection with this Queen of Wands in the center. Something needs to um, be mulled over in order for this beginning for you two so like I say could be third party okay could be traveling a distance relocation um healing old wounds taking the leap of faith okay this these are all possible things that are going into this immediate future before we reach the beautiful outcome of the ace of pentacles so I'm seeing for some of you, there could be, they could be coming towards you with a firm offer, okay? Because, um, you know, we just have to look at these energies. They are quite incredible. The Knight of Wands with the Ace of Cups. It's just beautiful. For others of you, more soul searching, more, more, more mulling over, more figuring it all out, okay? Let's take a look. Hope and intensification i love the intensification card it's incredible energies so whatever happens it's going to intensify whether it's in the next 48 or or further down the line this is an undeniable connection that we've got going on here wow let's let's take three cards for overall clarity guidance and prediction Loving the energies in this reading. Hmm. Intensification. Love it. Because, you know, all the both that you're doing is thinking about this. That's what's going on here. Absolutely. Take a look. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. 
two of pentacles. The, yeah, there most certainly could be other people in the mix. There's, there's, there's something that's kind of throwing this off, if you know what I mean. Um, but it, 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 it's gonna, it's gonna, something's gonna give here, okay? Um, I feel like the, 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 the boundaries, the, the, the walls are coming down, okay? And there's an opening up of emotion with this two of pentacles and I see offers coming in here. It's, it's really quite beautiful. Um, and like I say, it, it's just very deep. There's just a very deep depth to, to your connection with this person. Wow, very deep. So, some of you, there won't be any movement in the next 48, but there's going to be intensification absolutely going forwards. For some of you, it, it could be sooner than that, okay? With the Seven of Cups, it's kind of like I'm getting the energy that there could have been just an emotional kind of... An emotional sort of discussion that's left you both really kind of frustrated with how this can go forward, but you wanted to, and it's going to, okay? Um, so there we go. I'll leave it there, and I'm really excited to do Beyond the Next 48 for this, because with these energies and the Ace of Pentacles and the outcome, I'm really excited to see what's going to happen next, especially with this intensification card. So if you'd like to join me, where I'll delve deeper into the energies between you two and look at what's going to happen beyond the next 48, then please join me over on Vimeo. This is your set of cards number three. And, you know, if you decide, you know, not to come over and join me on Vimeo, I just want you to know that things are looking really good here, okay? Um, and I really hope that you found this reading helpful. Okay, then. Bye.